nanotechnology will revolutionize the way we think about materials. Think about an atom. Let's take an example, carbon as an atom. If we take carbon atoms and configure it in a certain pattern, you can get a small sheet of carbon, which we call today graphene. And that has any very, very interesting properties. But then we take the same carbon atoms, reconfigure it, and make it like a rod-like structure, which we call nanotubes if it's a hole in it. And if there's no hole in it of that structure, we call it carbon nanofibers. So you see, the same carbon atoms, just by manipulating how the atoms should be configured, we are getting three different materials with three different properties. Small tech technology enables the control growth of conducting nanostructure on surfaces at temperature below 400 degrees C. In practice, this means that the nanostructures can be grown as individual, films or cluster, exactly where they fulfill their function without the need of a low yield, expensive transfer process. This is actually achieved using commonly used process method within compliant process conditions. We have identified several applications for our technology in the semiconductor industry for further miniaturization and performance enhancement. Our R&D team is directed towards proof of concept and demonstrator on application level. One may think that we are essentially witnessing the revolution which we have seen when we move from single transistor to an integrated circuit and nanotechnology will take the next leap where we will also see a tremendous scaling of ele electronic circuits. It might be difficult to uh, think about what is nanomaterials and how they look like, these nanostructures, but let's think from the point of view that let's take this scaling effect, that the, when we decrease the dimension by orders of magnitude, we put, essentially will increase the performance at least by an order of magnitude, and that will impact the integrated circuits tremendously. Small tech brings a truly unique technology to the market. With the applications we are currently focusing on, I think we just scratched the surface on the opportunities of this technology. Today we see the potential to replace traditional materials in high performance electronics. Tomorrow, I think we see it utilized in many other technology sectors. Future integration with other nanomaterials, like for example graphene, may provide spectacular properties. Whatever your interest in small tech is, a joint R&D or pilot project, or an investment, get in touch, stay close and follow us on our exciting journey.